Illegal mining, which is popularly known in Ghana as Galamsi, is a life-threatening and a dangerous means of mining gold from our soil, which endangers and threatens our environment for the next generation. Hello beautiful family, your boy your Quentin is back again. I'm so excited to talk to you as a family. Super excited. Anytime I'm about to talk to you as a family, there is this kind of joy that flows in my heart because I'm talking to a family. Please, this is the family, the biggest community we are building. Yes, we are building the biggest community that is building the new Africa now. Our community will be the biggest community to spread and to inspire, to encourage Africa people all over the world that we, the new generation, are building the new Africa now. Please, without your subscription, it's impossible because you need to be a member as a family to so subscribe. Please don't like without subscribing. Your subscription means a lot to us and we want you to subscribe. Today, we are coming to talk about why is Africa lands given to the Chinese instead of the African diasporas, instead of the Africans all over the world? Why are our lands given to the Chinese instead of Africans all over the world? This is a question we all need to answer. And I know most of us, we've asked ourselves so many times this question, why are the Chinese taking our land? Why are our leaders giving our lands to the Chinese? That is the question. You know, the Chinese are, 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 are some kind of um, people that they don't care about the damage they cause. They only want what they want. And why are our lands, African leaders, African leaders, African leaders. The lands is for the lands are for Africans all over the world. No? If you are an African leader, you are just a representative. Of, you are just a representative of all Africans, not only your family. So why are our lands given to the Chinese? The Chinese man comes to Africa. For instance, Ghana. The Chinese man doesn't know where the gold deposits are. But it will take an African to hold the hand of a Chinese man to direct them to the forest, the riverside, where the golds are. It will take an African to motivate the Chinese man to dig the rivers to pollute, to destroy the aquatic life, all in the name of papers, papers, money. The Chinese man will come to Africa to destroy our waters, to destroy our forests, to destroy the, the hopes of the future leaders. Why do we give our lands to the Chinese? Those lands belong to all Africans all over the world. The African diaspora. It's funny that even when the Chinese move into Africa, they don't pay much to destroy the waters, to destroy the aquatic life. Just look at this video playing right now. Somebody invested. I'm about to show you a video. Somebody's investment built a very nice resort as a as a as a result of this inhuman act called illegal mining. Let's watch the destruction that the so-called illegal mining has caused people, has even affected our beauty as a continent, has, has affected Africa continent. So guys, look at this. Somebody's investment, thousands of dollars. I wish I have the video of Af before and uh, before of this very resort. Somebody's beautiful resort out of this illegal mining act see how they have polluted the whole river can we do this in china Beijing, hong kong yes so you've all seen some of the damage the chinese is causing to africa why is our lands given to africa uh, 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 the chinese instead of the african diaspora 
they, they, they have been able to infiltrate into the continent. Slavery, neocolonialism, slavery, mental slavery, still in chains and shackles, still being controlled by imperialist Africa, rise and shine. Why is the Chinese, why are our lands given to the Chinese? It's an, it's an answer we all need. Leave your answer in the subscribe button, uh, in the in the in the comment in the comment box, and hit the subscribe button. Please hit the subscribe button. Let's inspire and motivate all Africans and African diasporas all over the world that we we want to build a new Africa right now because we've handed over, we've given Africa to people that some of them, some not all, things about themselves, not all African. They've forgotten that they are representatives of all Africans. They are not representatives of their family only. The Chinese are destroying Africa. Okay, now I think we are going to play a fair game. We want the Boyan. Tomorrow morning, we are going to mine the rivers in China. The Yanzigi River and the Yellow River. We are going to mine the Yellow River of China. We are coming. And the Yanzigi, we are going to mine them. We are going to mine them. And check if it's possible. Check if President Xi Jinping is going to allow Africans to go mine their Yellow River or their Yangtze River. It's impossible. Africa leaders, why? What have we done wrong? What have we done wrong? Those lands that you are, you are giving, you are taking little money to give out to the Chinese are for the diaspora. We always think that when you talk about Africa, it's about we living here. What we, what, 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 what? No. There are huge number of Africans outside Africa right now that if indeed they were still here in Africa not as a result of slavery or, 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 or what the, the evil act that occurred, they would have probably been the real kings and chiefs of the throne you are inheriting as a chief. If they are to trace their roots, most of them belong to royal families in Africa. Some belongs to the Akan tribe, the Ashantis, the Airways, the Fantis, the Dongas, the Medinkas, the Yoruba, the, 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 the so, so many. Some are from royal homes. If they were still here, they would have been the real kings and chiefs, if you don't know. So, this land that you are selling cheaply to the Chinese people to destroy, they are destroying our aquatic life. The Chinese are destroying the future of Africa. The Chinese don't care about you. They care about what they get. They bring you little papers and little computers and you feel relaxed and you think everything is fine for you to sell your property, which is your future generation. We were in slavery for decades, for centuries. Right from the 1500, 1600, they were, they were mining in Africa. Even them didn't destroy our aquatic life. Growing up, I was drinking from the stream. I was drinking from the spring waters. We didn't even have tap water. Our grandfathers drank from the spring and the streams and they were 180 years old. Now, they are all destroyed. Our forests are being destroyed. Now the Chinese is ruling, it's, it's just like an, a, a final empire to collapse Africa continent. The Chinese is ruling, the Chinese is ruling Africa, the Chinese is ruling. We cannot go to China to mine their river, we cannot, no African can go to China to mine their yellow river. It's impossible. Africans must rise and shine. We must realize who we are as an African. The land is for the African diaspora and all Africans all over the world, let me tell you. The chiefs behind the illegal mining, the leaders who pretend they don't know anything about it and they mine. The Chinese man doesn't know the forest. It will take me a Ghanaian to show the Chinese man where the gold deposits are. They have been able to infiltrate the minds of African leaders. The minds of African leaders. And they've slowly infiltrated the minds of African youth. And they've told the youth, they've let them realize and know that your government is not creating jobs for you. So they are alternative. And that alternative is to destroy your future. That is the waters, the forest. Now, the water that is polluted with mercury flows into the forest and goes into people's farm. And the mercury gets into the soil. And now the, the plants will grow and they'll take them to the market and people will start developing all kinds of diseases that never existed on the continent of Africa. 
or in the name of uh, AIDS. Africa must rise. The lands are for Africans, including all African diasporas. When an African diaspora comes to Africa, it's been a time that all African leaders must come to an agreement. They must come to conclusion that, hey, when African diasporas come to Africa to invest, when they buy 100 acres of land, let them pay for only 50 and give them 50 for free. We cost it. We, 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 were, we, were, we, were, we were the same people that in, make slavery a, a, a lucrative job just like it's going on now we are destroying our own waters and we think it's the best way to earn money is to destroy our future the generation will import water to drink africa is gifted the most beautiful continent on, on earth with all deposit of resource you can ever think of some of this country that mine africa they have some they don't even do it do you think china will let us go mine their yellow river or the yangtze they won't. Africa, rise and shine. If an African diaspora comes to Africa to invest, let them pay only half of the land because the land belongs to them. If they pay, if they are buying 100 acres, let them pay for 50. It's their home. They are not supposed to leave. All African leaders, we are pleading to you as the youth that wants to build a new Africa right now. Yes, we are pleading to you that we should all come to conclusion. Let's designate lands. For the African diaspora across the whole Africa continent, Ghana can de Ghana can 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 designate a land as an African diaspora land. I heard about the 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 um what's the name the Wakanda city that was proposed to be built in Ghana. I don't know how far. At times when I heard about it, I was so excited, but I don't know. Africans like to pro 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 do do do. Uh, Let's, let's give them lands. Let's give our African diaspora land. Let them invest in Africa. Let, if you're an African diaspora and you own 200, 200 million in your account, if you have $3 million worth, $3 million chain, it, it doesn't make no impact. It doesn't leave a legacy. Your legacy is, is the impact you make in humanity. Listen, the land is for you. Come and invest. If you want gold, your home have it better than any other continent. If you want the diamond, which is just a piece for two million, three million dollar. Your home have it, and they come and even they take it for free. They hide into our forests and destroy our rivers and everything, and give them little money and take it and sell it for you for two million dollar. If you're an African diaspora, come home, open jobs, open jobs. They have infiltrated the minds of African youth. The time as an African diaspora, you decide to come home, the continent is destroyed. There will be no water. You need to import water to drink. Thanks be to every African diaspora who has realized who, who he or she is and he has moved to Africa. At times it's not about the money. Your presence motivates and inspires others. Africa is one of the beautiful continents you can ever have. Let's give land to the African diaspora instead of the Chinese. The African diaspora, I, I'm pleading to all African leaders. We are pleading. Please subscribe to this channel and let's build the, let's build the biggest community that wants to build a new Africa right now. The African diaspora. Let's give them land. Let's let designate land, lands in Africa for them. Ghana must do Nigeria, Kenya, Botswana, uh, Burkina Faso, Mali, Ivory Coast, South Africa. This is this is the diaspora city. Let them build and let us give them 10 years. I believe in the diaspora so much. Let this, let's give them 10 years. If you don't know what the diasporas can do, just like Donald Trump, ex-president of the United States of America said, he said, America was built by the blacks. They are strong. They are strong. Africans are strong people. They are. Go check the history of Greenwood, Oklahoma. When they gave them the place, they developed it and they didn't even understand till they, they were supposed to even destroy it back they, they, because they were, they, they were developing Oklahoma rapidly. Let's give the diaspora land and let's see if they, I say the future of Africa lies in the hands of the African diaspora. In terms of economy, if you're an African diaspora and you are, you are declared a millionaire, have asset, money, dollars, purpose, millions of dollars, and you keep it, there are people who have made more than you've made and they are dead and gone and no legacy. We don't even remember them. But those we remember, like Martin Luther King, Marcus Garvey, and other people, they left, they left legacy in humanity. 
I want you to be, I want them to say, this university, this, this university of black culture and science and research belongs to this man, this musician, this actress, actor. He built this Africa history university in this state or in this country in Africa. Soon we will not talk to words and chains no more. Soon. The lands is for the African diaspora. If they were still here without taking into exile or captivity or slavery, they were the right kings and some would be their presidents now. Just like I said, if you as an African want a Chinese king or Chinese chief, I prefer an African diaspora president. That's what I prefer. Anytime I talk about Africans, suffering is too much. The most suffered people on earth are the Africans and the African diaspora. So till, till when? Till when? Our lands are not supposed to be given to the Chinese. So if you're a leader and you pay, you let them pay money to you or in the name of aids or, or in the name of local chiefs you want money or kings in the various countries you want money you are killing the future the future generation will question you you one day summon your cops into the law court and you question them why did you sell the land to the chinese to destroy it the chinese are not in to stay they're in for business they have bigger rivers than we do they've destroyed ours people's investment dollars people have invested and now the, the lands are for africans and all africans around the world not for the chinese so why are our lands given to the chinese instead of the african diaspora we sell land to the african diasporas i think more than the chinese because the chinese they sneak and infiltrate and and gather some youth somewhere and bring excavators and then we the youth hold their hands and the leaders hold their hands take them to the side to mine and they go they need business they don't they are not in the state they destroy the cocos they cut down the cocos they 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 they, they, they let mercury flows into our rivers to destroy the future yeah. so if you are watching me right now and a crystal clear water can turn into a coffee brown Tell me that in the next 10 years, if indeed we are not going to import water, all rivers in Ghana, this is their current situation, turn from crystal clear to cafe brown. People's investment are dying. Africa, people's investment are dying. Shall question some of the leaders one day. We shall summon your corpse, your dead bodies, into the law court and we will question them. Just like it happened in Rome some, 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 some centuries back. We will question you. Some ancestors did it before. Some wicked ones did it before. When they, they exchange humanity with, with, with genes and tobacco and gunpowder, selfishness. The same thing is what has happened. The Chinese man doesn't know Africa better. It takes Africans to hold the hands of a Chinese man, to take the Chinese man into the forest, into the river where we have the gold deposit. Why are our lands given to the Chinese? Is it as, as, a, as an act of corruption, greed, selfishness? Subscribe, let's build the biggest community that wants to build Africa. If you're an African diaspora, the leaders, when an African diaspora wants to invest in Ghana, 100 acres or Nigeria or Kenya, 100 acres of land, let them pay for half because it belongs to them. Let give, let give them land for free to build cities. Africa diaspora city. It's for them. If they were, if not as a result of slavery, they would have been the kings and the president. None of you could have probably been. No hard words, but I want to tell you the truth. If they are to trace their roots, they are from royal homes, but just like we do. We love you, Africa diaspora and all of Africans don't get color, we get color. The Chinese, the life of some Chinese, some, some Chinese is very pathetic. It's very inhuman for them to destroy it. See, now we are importing water. So when will Africa, the richest continent, whose friends are all, you know, the richest continent is described as the poorest, and every rich man wants the poorest continent to be a best friend. Why? The only way the rich man will be a poor man's friend is that there is something that attracts the rich man about the poor man. 
The rich man will always have a best friend as a rich man. The only way a rich man's friend will be a poor man is because the poor man has something unique. Africans must know what they want and know what they have and appreciate it. The lands is for Africans and all Africans. Africa will never be developed by the Chinese. Never. It will take only an African to develop Africa. Never will the Europeans or the Americans anybody develop. They can't develop Africa better than they will do. Nobody will build your home better than they do. They can't do it. They won't do it if they can. Subscribe and let's go. Corruption is the biggest disease we know. But to win, to win, the Chinese doesn't know the forest. That's what I'm saying. I'm pleading to all Africans. If we are giving the lands to the Chinese, let's give it to the diaspora. Like I said, if you want a Chinese king or chief, I want the African diaspora president. Let's give it to the diaspora. Let's give them towns to build. Let's say no to war. No more war in Africa. African leaders unite. No more war. So the lands that we always designate them for refugee camps, we should stop it and put the guns down and then let's unite as a continent and then let's transform that refugee camps, so-called refugee camps scattered all over Africa country on the name of war, selfish wars. They use black on black to fight ourselves to, to build like this kind of clumsy wars in all over Africa. They use black on black. They use black on black. They use you to kill me. They use me to kill you. And then and then we build funding. Uh, 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 what's the name of this? Uh, um, refugee camps. That refugee comes if we say no to war and we lay down arms and we solve problem with them. If there is democracy, they should solve problem with words, not guns. If democracy is real, gun does not make anybody democratic. It's words. We are used to Africa is used to building uh, refugee camps all over Africa. Decoration. The beautiful, such a beautiful continent for the first century. They still promote wars. Let's say no to war and then let's use the refugee camp for cities. Let's give, let's build bigger cities, refugee camps. I said, let's give those so called refugee camps, let's demolish it and give, say no to war and let's give them the African diaspora. Let's give them 10 years and we'll build, we'll be the, the nicest city. Cities, all refugee camps will be the nicest city in Africa as a continent. All refugee camps be the nicest city in Africa as a continent. I believe in African nation. We know what they did when they went into slavery. Let's just think about it. That day, that very painful day, where mom was calling for son and son was calling for daughter, uh, uh, father and father was calling for daughter and they were stretching their hand to hold each other. That was the end. That was the day we departed from our loved ones. And now, Living we sell land expensive to them and now the Chinese Empire is trying to be the last person to rule Africa due to destruction. China, any policy that China will do with Africa, it should be win-win. I'm not saying we shouldn't do business with Africa uh, with China. Chinese have their good side. But some Chinese, some Chinese are just eager because they know the history that if you go to Africa with money or with exchange, you can get whatever you want, even including human beings. So they come and they do it. I'm not saying Africa should, shouldn't do business with China. China, every country in the world is doing business with China. But let's do win-win business. Let, China can never go to United States to mine and gold in the United States and destroy the rivers of the United States. Or likewise, Russia or India or any country or any country in Europe. But African leaders, why have we stood so quiet and stand aside for foreigners to take the land from generations centuries to date and they are still doing it africa rise and shine african land is for the africans and all africa diaspora not for the chinese no more joke jokes are over we are building the new africa now let's build the new africa now right now let us build it right now now
if you are if you're a millionaire living in the diaspora as an african person and you are comfortable you are not you are in chains and shackles you buy a house in africa and you don't even stay in the house you use it for fashion build companies employ the youth you are the same person that sits to complain and say the chinese are destroying the land there is no job the leaders are not creating jobs so the chinese have seen the weakness and they've taken advantage of the weakness and they say they've infiltrated the mindset through the leaders to the youth so now the youth sees it as very lucrative to destroy their own future that the waters the forest soon diseases will break out across africa Youth, just like they saw the, the youth, some youth by themselves slavery to be lucrative and profitable business to do. I said the day that mom was calling son and son was calling dad and daughters were calling for mom and dad was the day that their hope was shut. The day that we separated from our loved ones. The day, that painful day when they passed through the gate of no return and then they saw that there was no light at the end of the tunnel. Those are the African diasporas. The day that they bought the painful, rickety, hopeless ship. The ship, the hopeless ship. They never thought they were any, there would be any light at the end of the tunnel. When they arrived in the West Indies, when they arrived in the Americas, the Europas, when they arrived. When they were whipped at the cotton farms and the coffee farms. They didn't know they would one day come back. So if they are coming back, let's brace them with love. Let's compensate them because it was a result. Some greedy ones were involved. They saw it as profitable. Just like we seen our own waters being destroyed as profitable. They saw slavery as profitable. So we sold them. We did it. Yes, we did it. We made, we motivated them. We didn't fight to stop it. Yes. So they went. And when they are coming back, let's brace them. Let's give them a portion of the land they left. The land belongs to their uncles, their fathers, which were their, our brothers and sisters. Let's give them the portion that belongs to them. Let's give them. This is your portion. Build it. Diaspora city. Let's give them 10 years. It will be the neatest in Africa. And the hope of Africa is in the hands of the diaspora. Economically, now they've made it. They survived slavery. They survived torture. They survived everything. Racism. Now they've made it. Our future is in the hands. Just like the Chinese traveled, they, they migrated to Europe and America, and now they, 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 they took technology and they advanced it, and now they are superpower. There was the same Chinese people who traveled to America and other places that brought in China, to China that, that, that brought in technology to China that we see today. That makes us the computers we see. That day when they arrived in the West Indies, they walked back and they didn't see nothing but pains and whips. What have we seen? Listen, let me tell you one truth. The reason why most African leaders don't take the fighting of Africa serious is because of one thing. They didn't see slavery. They had it. They didn't experience it. They had it. Those freedom fighters Kwame Nkrumah, Jumbo Kenyatta, and other people, Modibo Keita, and all oh, Nelson, Nelson Mandela, and Imperial Haile Selassie, those freedom fighters, they saw their uncles, they saw their brothers chaining, putting in chains and shackles. They saw it. They saw them board the, uh, the, the hopeless ship. They saw it. They experienced racism. So they, they fought to put an end to slavery. But these people right now, they only heard it. They didn't see it. They heard it. They read it in books. But let me tell you one thing. Our African diaspora, we saw slavery. They were in slavery. We were colonized. We saw slavery. Even as we saw slavery, we were still living in our homes. Though we were, we were under the control of, of, of the Westerners, but we were in our homes, mostly. But those who slept in the dungeon, and then passed through the dungeon, through the gate of no return, they were in slavery. That is the difference. So those people have a lot of experience in life. What even it takes? It, who are good soldiers? Who are warriors? Warriors are the good soldiers that fight a battle and return home successfully. And who are fallen soldiers? Fallen soldiers are the great soldiers that lay down their lives for warriors to survive. 
So their fathers who are, bitter, who are our uncles, their mothers who are our aunties, lay down their lives for the next generation that will be seen now, the African diaspora, to be the warriors to return back home, to take the flags of victory back to Africa. So now the, 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 the land that belongs to them are now given to Chinese to mine, to destroy. They need to beautify the place. They are rather destroying it. Subscribe and let's go. Let's go. They are rather destroying it. The African diaspora rise and shine. Involve yourself in African politics. Then don't, don't sit aside and see Africa to be far from you. You know, the Western media will tell you this. They will say, Africa, Africa, thinking Africa is so far from you. They need to say, your people, your people, your people. But they will tell you, Africa, Africa. But don't forget you're an African European. You're an African American. Your name is attached with something. But they'll tell you, Africa. And you'll be like, oh, Africa? Yes, you are Africa. You can sacrifice your $2 million chain and, 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 and make impact in, 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 in the black communities. I don't care where you are to make impact. Africa don't hate her color. We hate character. Such like some infiltrators, some Chinese people, not all Chinese, but some individual Chinese that have some bad characters that wants to destroy. Let's do win, 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 win business with the Chinese. Because everybody is dealing with the Chinese. If you go to America, they work with the Chinese. India, every country in the world, because they are advanced now the truth should be told but let's do business that will favor both parties let not allow the Chinese to infiltrate our mind through the leaders for the youth to feel that destroying the water aquatic life a time will come China will import they are taking our fishes from the sea to China they are cutting our timbers to China they are taking our 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 our, our rocks to China. They are constructing beautiful roads. And we, we, if you go to the villages in Africa, we don't have beautiful roads. You see, if you're an African diaspora and you're living only in the city, you've not seen it all. Let me tell you, it will touch your heart more when you go to the villages where you see students struggling to learn. Listen, Africa is beautiful. Africa is nice. Africa is the richest thing, the richest continent. That They sneak to company, but they fear to tell people when the continent got. We were exploited for, for years, for centuries, but still the Chinese have still gotten something to exploit, exploit.